What's up, Leo? Welcome to With Up Tarot. I am back with your general reading for October of 2020. Happy Halloween to everybody out there. So this is going to be covering your general energies, uh, what you can expect, some predictions, and then I'm also looking into your career and money and a glimpse into your love life. Now, as always, guys, these are general readings, so please take what resonates here and leave the rest. If this is your reading, claim it. Are you ready? So what I'm seeing here for your general energies to start, uh, there's some fast energy off the bat, okay? So this could be like communication coming in quick for you, some of you getting a message, exchanging messages uh, with somebody else. Uh, there could be an air sign person around you or you could have heavy air sign placements in your birth chart. This is quick ideas coming in, so having new ideas and really chasing and going after them. This is not the energy of like sitting around or staying still. So October could be a pretty busy month for you. At the same time, you're really putting the time and effort into a situation. This could be uh, whatever you do for a job or if you're in school, you know, you're really putting the final touches on something and preparing even, okay? So also could be moving forward with a venture. So I'll circle back and take some clarifiers on this. You're shining in your career and money, guys. You're the star anyway. You're the center of attention. Something about this time period where you could really be getting some recognition even for your efforts or something is putting you in the spotlight around this time period. So for example, if you've really been working hard on something, this is it finally paying off or paying off within the next couple of months there's like an all eyes on you feeling. Some of you could be traveling, whether that's because you commute for work or school, or you're actually moving to take on a new opportunity. I say that because we have both the six and the eight of wands and that can sometimes indicate travel or simply taking like a business trip, something connected to this area. Even though this is in your career and money, this could even be you taking a vacation or, you know, even celebrating something just for a small percentage of you out there, that specific message is coming through. For others of you out there, it's like you're so laser focused on where you're headed in life, you're not letting anything drag you down. Anything, anybody, any situation, any energy, you're like, nope, and you're just keeping it moving. So for your love life, guys, woo, we got the two of cups and the four of wands. I am so happy to see this. This is such beautiful energy. Look at this. So two major love cards. All right. So this is you connecting with somebody new. And for those of you who are with somebody, this is really strengthening the connection. So I'm giving it both angles here, starting with my singles, guys. Uh, some of you are really going to have the opportunity to meet somebody within the next couple months. Whether this is online or you meet them somewhere out, but this is a very positive omen, okay? This is going to be um, an intense connection, somebody that you feel is your other half even, and a relationship that you can really have something big with if that's what you're looking for. For those of you who are partnered, guys, this is really bringing the relationship to the next level if you're not already there because Four of Wands is my marriage card, one of them, okay? So some of you are gonna be getting proposals within the next couple months or you know, having a talk to bring a relationship to the next level or this is just simply strengthening it. So, woo, that is so beautiful. And it kept making an appearance too, and I had a feeling it was gonna pop out for your love sector. So I'm now gonna take some clarifiers here to give you more details. There you are. The sun is here.
Wow. Beautiful, guys. Look at this. Ace of Pentacles. Eight of Wands. Okay. Okay, guys, beautiful. So this reading is getting me excited. <laughs> so we have the sun, as I'm sure many of you saw pop out. Uh, perfect. It is on the top row next to that beautiful star card here. So again, you know, this is confirming that you're shining. You're the center of attention. Um, all eyes on you. Now, also what's coming through is that, yeah, that confirms that message that this could be some type of news or communication coming in for you and it's happy news. So something that's going to make you really happy or put a smile on your face. Uh, some of you, this is celebrating something. So you could be also celebrating somebody's birthday that's coming through. And for a tiny percentage of you out there, guys, this could be about news of a pregnancy or a birth of a child is what just came through here. But whatever this is, this is a very happy time period for you. With this page of wands that popped out on the seven of pentacles. So yeah, again, it could be communication coming in here. This is more of your energy. This is a fire sign or you could be connecting with somebody uh, with heavy fire sign placements in their birth chart here. What's coming through with the visual is you putting a lot of hard work into a situation, which is what I said originally, and then it paying off and you actually being proud of it. You know, if you look at the visual, it's like you really putting the time and effort, you know, nurturing something and then you stand up from it and you look at your work, you observe it and you're proud. You're proud of your accomplishments. With the Ace of Pentacles that popped out into the star, I almost cracked my hip <laughs> bending over to get it really quickly. Uh, wow. So, yes, uh, there is some type of opportunity coming in for you. Now, this could be connected with that star. So, you know, your hard work paying off and you're getting some type of acknowledgement, whether this is money coming in, a promotion, you know, somebody actually contacting you and they want to present something to you some type of a business venture it could be also you getting money that you've been waiting on but what's coming through is like some type of big opportunity and definitely a new beginning it's an ace so this could be a chance to do something big and it's going to pay off. It, it already is paying off for some of you out there because the Nine of Pentacles tells me that you're on the right pathway. So for those of you who might be questioning something, what this is saying is that you're on the right pathway. Your hard work is going to pay off or something's going to pay off here because the Nine of Pentacles is about success. It's about putting the hard work into something, but then having the payoff from it. Okay, so some of you are already there and you're already getting a slice of the good life. And if you're not there yet, then what this is saying is that it's coming in for you. And that's confirming some of that other energy that some of you could be even traveling or taking a vacation. So could be that you're sitting back around this time period and enjoying. Eight of Wands popped out for your love life. So this is uh, quick messages going back and forth. This is my Arrows of Love card. It's passion. So it could be connecting with somebody new. Or this is like bringing some passionate energy with somebody that you already know. Some of you are going to be getting a message too. You know, what's coming through is online, online dating. And then, you know, finally meeting the person. Some of you who are not coupled or you've been single for a while, I see that that's gonna change, guys. Um, I'm seeing a lot of fast movement in this area. It's beautiful, but for those of you who are not with somebody or you know, you're waiting for the relationship to take off, the wheel is telling me that there's gonna be some type of change here. And with such positive cards, it's a sign of good luck. 
Okay, so if some of you have felt down on your luck, this is the wheel turning in your favor. Really, really beautiful. You could be dealing with a faded relationship and this is some soulmate energy here too. So I'm now gonna move on to the Oracle cards and after that, I'll be doing a pendulum reading for you. So we have number two, Yin, which is really beautiful and Oracle Wisdom. Yin. This is a time when the most effective action is to allow others to show you the way forward. Observe their behavior and follow their lead. Your desire to push through must take a backseat for now. Collaborate and offer your ideas rather than dictating what must happen. Let others come to you. It's important that they feel they have power now. Another meaning is about releasing your need to have things in the form you want. How do you want to feel basking in your success? Now allow the universe to show you the form. Yin is the sign of essence. Things may go more smoothly than you expect. Okay, so I like that last message, guys, because that really ties in nicely with the law of attraction. So really living in how you're going to feel when you finally get what you want and visualize to bring it in faster. And Oracle. You already know the answers to your questions. You realize what lies behind the current circumstances and understand what is best for yourself. Rather than seek the opinions of others, trust your inner knowing. Like a wise oracle, you are able to see through the darkness and shed light on situations that might baffle others. Acknowledge this and journey to the dark chambers within, for that is where you'll find the insights you need to help you on your journey. There is no cause to seek the approval of others. You have all the knowledge you need at this time. Very powerful cards, guys. So I'm now going to move on to the pendulum reading and I'm using the beautiful Aventurine and this is to bring you uh, good luck and money, career and love and to clear out any blockages. And what I want you to do is to think of a question where you can get a yes, no or maybe. And I'm going to try to tune into your energy and depending on which way the pendulum swings, I can tell you what the answer is. So take a few moments to think of your question and you can pause the video for however long you need. For the majority of my Leo viewers and subscribers who ask a question, is the answer to the question a yes, no, or maybe? That's a yes, guys. Leo, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. It'll really make my day. And also make sure you are subscribed to my channel. If you are new, you'll get notified of my readings. I do quite a bit of them and it will also help me to grow. I will see you next time with love.